Hello everyone, this is Shrikar here and today we'll be talking about um, adaptive layouts in iOS 8 applications. To get started, let's go to file and create a new project, a single view application, hit next. Let's name our application as sample app. Uh, let's say it for Swift, make it for like universal and then hit next, create the application. The first thing what we need to do is uh, let's see how uh, the main storyboard uh, looks like. In iOS 8 application, there's only a single storyboard and you can uh, use a single storyboard for all the different screen size. That means uh, you need not create like multiple storyboard for like an iPhone or an iPad. You could just use the same single uh, storyboard and use it for like a different screen sizes. To get started, what we will do is <coughs> let's pull, go to the object library here and then let's pull in a text field so let's pull in the text field and align it in the center click on the size inspector let's make the width as uh, 300 pixels and then the height as that should be fine let's keep it as 30 let's align it in the center to the center then let's pull in a label and align it as shown here let's say it as a sample app uh, click on the width size inspector make the width as uh, 200 pixels and height as uh, 50 pixels and let's go to the DD inspector and align it to the center it looks nice um, at this point of time we'll pull in a button from the object library and place it just below the text field uh, this doesn't look right. Let's align it properly in the center. Same thing with the button. Let's say a simple button. Same thing here. Align it. Um, at this point of time, this looks uh, de this looks like a decent layout. Let's run this in an iPhone 6 and see how it looks like. Let's give a couple of minutes for it to run. Hmm, that doesn't look good. Let's go and fix this application. Stop the simulator. So the first thing what we need to do is uh, uh, click on all three of them, select them using command and select all the three buttons, all the three UI elements, sorry and click on the alignment tool here let's align its center and uh, add the three constraints for these three UI elements as you can see that uh, there are a few orange and red uh, lines here which means that even though we have added some constraints it's not like exhaustive uh, to lay the UI elements onto the, uh, the actual window so what we need to do is uh, we need to provide uh, some more uh, auto layout positions for that uh, so what we can do is let's uh, control first thing what we'll do is like let's align this um, text field let's make it even like vertical in the container add one constraint that looks good now what we can do is like just control drag from here to the sample app and click on vertical spacing do the same step for the button as well vertical spacing and if you run this application at this point of time you can see that the label and the simple button looks good but the text field is uh, not uh, what we expected uh, we need to put add even one constraint for the text field as well also along with that i'll change the background color of the simple button so that we know that it's actually a button first thing is let's go to the simple button go to the identity inspector 
at the bottom you can see that the background is currently uh, there is no background so let's add a background like a blue background and also we'll just go to the size inspector and increase the width to like 150 pixel and uh, height to like 40 pixel just to make it like more legible and align it in the center uh, so as you can see that when you click on this there is some uh, warning here let's just click on the constraint and say update constraints and that should work fine um, also <clears throat> coming to the text field what we need to do is like just control drag from within the text field as like this and click on width now if you re now at this point of time what we have done is we have put even a constraint on how much how uh, wide that text field should be now if we stop and run this project again we should see the text field as we have expected it to be now this looks like a good layout uh, for an iPhone uh, 6 we can even test it on iPhone 5 that will work as well let's test it out yeah that looks good if you notice there's one more problem with this button as we have put a width constraint for the text field we can even put a width constraint for the button as well so that we know how width how wide the button is if we stop and run the application again now you can see that the button is as expected also the text field is uh, whatever width we wanted um, let's go uh, let's try uh, to see how it will look uh, on an uh, iPad Oh, one more thing this is basically for an iPad as well because uh, what we have done is we have put it for width any and height any it means that this is generic for all the devices so if we go to iPad retina it should work I assume yes that works uh, perfectly even in an iPad uh, retina size uh, one more thing what we can do is we can even customize this kind of uh, the fonts like if you look at this iPad you can see that the fonts are like really small as compared to iPhone because the the size of the iPad is big so you could possibly increase the font size for this label and the button the way we do it is uh, this is currently for an any and any right so uh, any height and any uh, width so there are different types of uh, these values for uh, any and the width and height the first one is basically compact compact is uh, the portrait uh, uh, orientation of uh, iPhone for iPhone 5 iPhone 6 and uh, what we are talking about is like the compact width is also uh, sorry uh, comp compact width is for iPhone portrait as you can see here for all iPhones in portrait and uh, when you talk about like a regular width or a regular width it's basically like a landscape mode of iPhone and any and any or for like if you just say regular width and regular height this is basically for iPads in portrait or in landscape mode so what we can do is like for this any and any which means that an iPad layout what we can do is let's set some constraints on the font size uh, this is uh, uh, what we are currently doing is uh, a new feature in iOS 8 called adaptive fonts um, I'll show you how to actually configure them properly for the layout which we are using if you go to this font there's actually a plus button here and if you don't click or add any new constraint this is for the current size so let's go ahead and modify that let's make it like a custom then helvetica new reg or like let's make it as thin let's give a font size of like 100 right and we can even um, let's do this thing make this so if you stop and drum this should work 
as you can see that the samples app now has a font of 100 but the problem will come if you try to put the same uh, font size on an iPhone let's see how this will look in uh, iPhone uh, on iPhone 5 or iPhone 6 let's go with iPhone 6 let's test it out as you can see that the the actual label is cut and it's not uh, it's basically truncated and it's not properly shown so at this point of time we can add a new constraint for the font itself so if you go and click on the plus here then you can say as you know that for uh, iPhone uh, portrait mode you need to go with like a compact width and any height click on that now there's a new constraint added here so you can just click on this custom Helvetica instead of adding like a hundred you could just make it like a 30 pixel instead of 100 pixel and if you run this now on iPhone 6 you could you will see that it's properly uh, it, it properly has a font weight of uh, 30 whereas if you stop it and run it in an iPad you'll have the font which we decided for iPad which is like 100 font 100 size let's wait for yes as you can see that the sample app now has a uh, proper uh, font height which we dis uh, which we decided to have for an iPad orientation or iPad screen size um, so friends uh, today we talked about uh, how to lay out the UI elements for uh, different uh, uh, screen sizes and uh, also we talked about uh, adaptive fonts for iOS 8 applications so if you have any uh, questions or comments regarding this episode, please do comment below. Uh, thank you.